Welcome Taurus. We are going to be looking at what it is that you need guidance with right now using Grace Cards, Nature's Whispers and the Osho Zen Tarot. Alrighty, let's get into it Taurus. Three cards for Taurus please. First card out is Receive. Two more cards for Taurus. Rest. Okay. And vision. Wow. Okay, Taurus. Let's have a look here. This is receive. Okay. And it says, when we open ourselves up to others, we open ourselves up to the abundance of the universe. 100%. Oh, I love that. It's kind of like that. Um, being open to receiving, nurturing, I feel like, you know, not just love, but nurturing and understanding and caring, right? Um, rather than closing off out of fear. Yeah, so rest is the other one here. Take a mental break. A quiet mind has direct access to wisdom and insight. Yes, 100%. And it can be really um, hard to turn the mind off, right? Um, I think it's very important to understand, Taurus, that we are in control of our minds, not the other way around. Okay, and once you get a grasp on that, you'll work out what thoughts do you want to entertain and what do you not want to entertain. You know, what, what thoughts would you invite in to sit down and have a cup of tea with you and which thoughts would you boot out, right? So very important, okay, to start becoming aware of that. Vision, I love this card here. I love this card because she is standing here, right? She's standing there, the eagle is flying above her and she doesn't notice it. And it's kind of like that thing of looking up and around you to see what is around you. But I feel like Taurus also to see the power that you contain within. Okay, so this says, pay attention. There are signs, symbols, and messages divinely placed in our path to guide us in the right direction. Yeah, pay attention. She's not seeing the eagle there. Okay, so let's have a look. See, we're going to start with receive. Okay, so for Taurus, two cards for receive for Taurus, please. When we open ourselves up to others, we open ourselves up to the abundance of the universe. Whoops, it's about dropping them all everywhere. Two cards for Taurus for receive, please. <laughs> I'm doing this, it's not even shuffling. <laughs> Holding on too tight. Gripping on too tight, Taurus. Loosen the grip. This is interesting. Nothing's coming out right now. Receive. Is it that? Is this a symbol of this receiving, right? We've got one card flip over. But, you know, not being sort of receptive to maybe even the signs and the symbols. Okay, there we go. That's better. Okay. So we've got empowerment here. Empowerment. Yeah, okay, there's been, this is really interesting, it's sort of like, there's been some really, 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 stormy times that you have been through. It's interesting because I can see this card two ways. Okay, okay. It's kind of like, okay, so for some of you, it's this is you coming out of a stormy time, okay, of a, of a really, really hard, hard road. Okay, for others of you, you may be in that, all right? Um, but I feel like there's... Um, 
this need to okay let me just show you this see this side of the card here how it's it's really beautiful with this gorgeous terrain here and this person is looking towards that so you're either in the middle of the storm here okay or you're walking or you're just coming out of it or you're walking into it okay so apply it to your situation as it fits this person looking back on this beautiful terrain here, I feel like this is symbolic of you needing to hold on to the goodness, to the beauty, to remind yourself of that, okay? To not let your mind get caught up in whatever is going on. Yes, you need to deal with whatever is going on, but there's this need to hold on to the beauty and the essence of your life okay um and this is going to empower you to stay afloat during the storm all right okay so one more we've got we've got success here which has come out so i feel like no matter what taurus you're going to um get through this okay um Two cards for empowerment for Taurus, please. The other thing I want to say about that is that um, it's also important to celebrate your small wins along the way, all right? Okay, so here we go. We've got healing here. Yep, healing. So this is representative of the storm. And even, this is the thing, Taurus, we don't have to wait for the storm to end until we begin healing we can do it during the storm we can do it bit by bit okay it doesn't have to all be done at once okay so that's something that I think it's very important for you to be aware of okay and I love this this is jumping out at me here we've got the um the lotus in the heart area here and um we've got this change card pop up and it just suddenly made me feel like these are one and the same um, and so, you know, this is this change occurring in your life. And here, look at this. This is spinning, right? This is spinning and it's sort of a um, a beautiful chaos, if you like. Okay, and it's kind of like, where will everything land? Reminds me a bit of a tornado if you're in the middle of a storm, right? Where will everything land? But in the center of this card here, that is serene, is the yin-yang symbol. And I feel like this is is a, this message to you to say you can still remain centered and grounded no matter what is going on. And this is something that um, you have the ability to do and would be really good for you to remind yourself to do. You know, stay balanced as much as you possibly can right now. Okay, so the next card out here is clear out the old. And this is what this change is all about. Okay, it's getting rid of all the things that were not secured, okay, that didn't have a secure foundation and they are all getting flung out, okay. Um, definitely a big impact on your heart here, Taurus. Definitely a big impact. Um, oh gosh, um, yeah, I feel like this is you needing to follow your heart actually, okay, not, um, not, uh, using your usual your usual process of working things out or discarding things or or sorting through things, okay? Um, and, and that could be anything. That could be, you know, people in your life. It could be situations. It could be your home. It could be anything, okay? Um, because I feel like there is something very sacred going on here with whatever is going on for you, Taurus. And it may not seem like it, but it is, um, 
yeah, it is, it is very, very, um, I want to say sacred, not just to your, your path, your life path, but your entire journey of your soul. It's, yeah, there's something, something quite big happening for you here. I don't know what it is. I can't say because obviously everybody's situation is different. But um, yeah, this is, this feels pretty huge. Okay, so two cards for Taurus for clear out the old. Let's see if we can get more insight into this. Clear out the old. We've got understanding. Two cards for clear out the old. Oh, and harmony here. Understanding and harmony. See there, you see here how this heart here, again, this is highlighted and then it's coming up and around here and I feel like this is you uncaging your heart in a sense and, and letting it fly, setting it free and this could be any old hurts, any, any emotions that are um, weighing heavy in your heart. Here's the thing, Taurus, sometimes, sometimes even though we've been hurt, we don't want to let go of it. Sometimes we hold on to it as a reminder, maybe as a protection, maybe to remind ourselves that if that, whatever we've been hurt over, if that person ever comes along again, we can say, look how much you hurt me. You know, sometimes we do that. And this is the thing with this card too. You see how all these birds are flying here? And this one is sitting here looking at the birds. And this one here is sitting looking at the beautiful terrain. It's the same energy to me that you can, you can look at the, you can look at what is possible and hold on to that. Use that to inspire you, to help you lead the way. Use that to open your heart, to resonate within in order to lead the way to keep you going along this path, okay? Yeah, um, and I just love that harmony has come up because this is exactly what you're holding on to, the vision of this harmonious sensation. And you can tap into that from your heart, no matter where you are. You know, sometimes, yeah, well, depending on what's going on in our lives, it's easier sometimes than others. But, you know, it's something you can do, Taurus, okay? So let's move on here. Rest. Take a mental break. A quiet mind has direct access to wisdom and insight. Yes, it does. Okay, so two cards for rest for Taurus, please. Is that one? And one more. Hard for rest for Taurus. There we go. Just like that. Okay. Be your best self always. Oh, yes. I love this. Absolutely love it. And this person riding along here. And this is the thing. This is really letting yourself go and having some fun in your life, right? Being who you truly are. Not holding back in any shape or form. Just letting loose. And this is the thing, if you take a mental break, you're not going to think about, oh, what are people going to think if I do that? If I'm in the water riding a um, seahorse, people are going to think I'm crazy. You know, but the um, thing is that if that's, you know, whatever, whatever gets you going, do it. Honestly, because once you, you release that, um, those thoughts about that, you know, judgment, people will judge me or you'll judge yourself more to the point then you will fly. You will step out of the cage and fly. Okay, so be your best self always. Two cards, but be your best self always for Taurus, please. Two cards for Taurus. Nice. Moment to moment. Oh, we've had one flip over there, and I want that to be a bit more obvious. Two cards for Taurus. That was creativity, though. So, you know, this could be you using your creativity. Okay, so we've got moment to moment, living in the now, Taurus, living in the now, okay, and that is um, not thinking about the future, not thinking about the past especially, 
okay, dealing and healing with what you need to, um, you know, deal with so that you can release it, not suppress it, but not, um, not um, letting it encompass you, not letting it um, overpower you, okay, we also have sorrow, yeah, not letting it do this to you, okay, really taking, honestly, right now in this moment, you're watching this and you are okay, right now in this moment, okay, it's this that keeps us trapped in this, Okay, so next card out here, maintain your childlike spirit. Yes, you see, this is the thing, Taurus. You know, the inner child, we need to do the healing of the inner child. Um, <clears throat> and there's so much work that needs to be done there. Uh, but we also need the inner child to come out and play, even as adults, right? Two cards for maintain your childlike spirit for Taurus, please. Fact of the matter is, Taurus, I saw this bumper sticker years ago and it said, um, <clears throat> we never really grow up, we just learn how to behave in public. <laughs> Hopefully we do anyway. Um, and it's so true. You know, I think we always have that childlike spirit in us, but life takes over and it drags us down and, it, you know, it weighs heavy on us. And so this is where it's important to release that inner child out to play. You know, jump on a swing and have fun. You know, especially if you've got children or grandchildren, go and have fun. Go and play with them. Have a tea party. You know, have a swing. Have a, you know, whatever. Yeah. So anyway, we are the world. Yes. I love this. You've got two cards here that are so positive. This is amazing. This is joining forces with other people. Other people who are like you. Your soul family. Taurus, your soul family. Receptivity. Yes, you see? Receive. Sorry. <laughs> Receive. <clears throat> this is going to help to open you up. Open everything up for you. Because this is rising up from the lotus to, from the heart, right up here to the upper chakras there, right? So this is really opening you up. I love this. Okay, vision. Yes. Okay, so two cards for vision, please, for Taurus. Pay attention. There are signs, symbols, and messages divinely placed in our path to guide us in the right direction. Okay, so <clears throat> whether they are numbers or I always ask for a sign. If there's something I'm like, oh, is that, you know, give me a sign by the end of the day to show me. And if I don't receive it, then I know that's not the thing. But if I, you know, then I might get five signs and I'm like, yeah, okay, I've got it, thanks. And I always ask to be shown incredibly clearly. So there is no doubt because, you know, sometimes I can overthink things. Funny, huh? <clears throat> okay. Celebrate differences. This is your next card here. Taurus, celebrate differences. The thing is, we can, you know, especially with We Are The World, right? Everyone is different. Everyone is different, but they're unique. And, you know, we don't want everyone to be the same as us because, you know, it's, it would be boring. And I've just noticed here, first time I've ever noticed this about this card, you see here how this river it looks like a face, yeah, <clears throat> and but it's different. It's the same. The shoreline is the same as the where the river is running, but the river is water and the shore is earth. So this is the thing. You know, this could be a water sign that you're dealing with, maybe. But regardless, Taurus, is that you know this is about coming together in unity. All right, and um, and even though there are differences, that you can still work together to make something beautiful happen, okay? Whatever that um, relates to in your life, all right? So two cards for Celebrate Differences. For Taurus, please. Two cards for Taurus for Celebrate Differences. One and two. That has flipped over. Okay, so courage. The courage to grow. The courage to grow through 
these really tough times, right? And even though it has been rough, man, rough, that's not even, you know, summing up how things are being for you, Taurus. You have still managed to grow through the cracks. You are, uh, yeah, this, this courage card here, I honestly take my hat off to you because you have been the most courageous the most okay and so this letting go card here is letting these emotions go okay because for for a while there you've had to be be tough and you haven't been able to potentially express your emotions okay but it is important to do that um it, i feel like it's safe to do that now okay and and also allowing yourself to have fun and enjoy yourself and enjoy your life all right, so be spontaneous is the next card here. I love it. Yes, see, Taurus, this is all about you letting yourself go. Okay, so um, be spontaneous. And the thing is that with the signs um, and symbols and messages, you know, this could, you could get the feeling <clears throat> that, oh, I need to go somewhere and be like, I don't know why, and just suddenly do it and then something happens. You meet someone or you know, you have an amazing experience or, or a really good time, you know, so just out of the blue, just, you know, so yeah, well, okay, we've got three cards here, oh, okay, yeah, okay, <clears throat> so Taurus, we've got these, these three cards jump out here, Okay, um, so here's what I'm getting from things. These, I feel as though we've got, sorry, politics and isolation. And I feel like, um, this is really interesting actually. <sighs> okay, so some of you have been deceived quite badly, okay, and had the wool pulled over your eyes, or you felt like you did at least, okay. And... Um, this, this, so that has caused you to wrap yourself up in this icicle here to harden yourself, okay? And that's, that's kind of how you grew through the rocks. But I want to say that it's time now to melt the ice. And what melts the ice is releasing the emotions here, okay? Releasing those emotions because the tears will help to melt the ice. Very important, all right? Um, the thing with this, Taurus is I feel like some of you are afraid that you'll get caught out again and this is why the ice is there um, because you don't want to be deceived in the same way that you have been okay the thing is you're more aware now you've learned a lot okay this here is a rattlesnake the rattlesnake always rattles its rattle its tail right so you'll know you will pick up the signs you will all right, if you pay attention, okay, um, and the, this here is a new beginning, this is a new beginning in truth, so you do not have to worry about not seeing it again, be discerning and everything, yes, use your intuition, okay, but you, it's safe for you, I feel like it's safe for you Taurus to open up now, okay, you don't need to keep yourself caged in anymore, all right, Okay, Taurus, I'm going to leave that with you. Take care of your beautiful self. See you. Bye-bye.